some AT&T customers could see refunds coming their way. The Federal Communications Commission says AT&T will pay $7.75 million after a federal investigation found it allowed unauthorized third-party charges on its customers' landline bills. It's a practice known as cramming. The FCC says scammers were allowed to charge customers about $9 per month for a bogus directory assistance service. The settlement includes nearly $7 million in customer refunds and a $950,000 federal fine. AT&T says current and former customers who are affected will receive their refunds via check within 90 days. Walmart is buying a fast-growing online retail newcomer. Walmart has agreed to buy Jet.com, the online retailer that launched a year ago, pledging to save consumers cash in various ways, such as price changing based on how much you buy, waiving the right to return, or waiting longer to get your purchase. $3.3 billion deal underscores Walmart's seriousness in igniting its online business in an extremely competitive landscape. Pokemon Go is boosting the sales of portable device chargers. According to new data collected by research firm M NPD Group, sales of portable power packs for charging smartphones and tablets doubled in the two weeks following the launch of Pokemon Go, with sales reaching $1.2 million. NPD says sales promotions during that time helped as well, but that Pokemon Go's quick rise in popularity gave portable power pack sales their biggest boost. And people and just totally walking see around, yes. staring at their phones. Not near anything to plug in. You gotta have right. a portable you gotta power have the pack. power pack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Preseason <laughs> polls released today, and uh, not a surprise up at the top. No. I'll tell you about it next in sports.